Here we have a question on vector geometry. It's a grade A, A, A star GCSE question or level 9 plus natural curriculum. So here we have a triangle. It's a pretty standard question um, where O, A, which we would normally call A, they're calling 2A and O, B, they're calling two, uh, 3B. Um, find A, B in terms of A and B. So going from A to B, Okay, that's the composite of going from A to O and then going from O to B. So what we need to do is to go A to O and then we need to add on O to B. A to O is the opposite of 2A. 2A is going this way, so we're coming back. We need to go minus 2A. I'm going to put a little squiggly line on there to denote a vector. They can use bold letters in questions, which I can't do. Okay, and I'm going to add on the, the B, which is O to B, which is the 3B. It's in the right direction, so that's 3B. And just to tidy it up, I'm going to turn it around so they've got 3B minus 2A. You can leave it like that, but I like to keep the negative signs in the middle. Okay, so that's a pretty standard opening question. Uh, P is the point on AB such that AP and PB is two-thirds. So this ratio is 2 to 3. So it's two-thirds, um, not two-thirds, it's two out of five, two-fifths from A to P. This is two-fifths of A, B, because it's in the ratio two to three. You've got two out of a total of five. So to work out um, uh, the vector O, P, from O to P, that's the composite of going from O to A, and then actually let's use a different color. Let's use a green. So if we're going from O to P, that's the combined vector of going from O to A followed by A to P. O to A followed by plus A to P. O A is just the 2A. We're going from O to A. It's along the 2A, so that's 2A. And A to P, we just said, is two-fifths of AB. So that's 2A plus two-fifths of AB, which we worked out the first part, 3B minus 2A. So we've got 2A plus two-fifths of 3B. Well, 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 5, so that's six-fifths B, or 1 and one-fifth B. And we're taking away 2 times 2 is 4 fifths A. So we just need to combine those two. So we've got 2A minus 4 fifths A. So that's well, 1 and um, 1 fifth A. Or we could write it as 6 fifths A. And we've got plus 6 fifths B. Um, we could, we could try, tidy that up and write it as 6 fifths of A plus B, but I don't, we don't really need to do that. You, you get them up for any one of those. Um, any one of those answers would be fine. So pretty standard question. Got a bit of a ratio in there as well. Um, you would get a method mark in here for getting this idea where, you're, where you've got the two fifths of A, B and you're adding it to the two A. And then if you can't do this calculation, multiplying it out with the fractions, which you should be able to at this level, um, you would only get um, one out of three marks. You get another mark for getting to this point. And, uh, oh, I haven't actually finished, have I? Show that OP is parallel to the vector A, B, A plus B. So that's what I've done here. So the six fifths of A plus B. To show something's parallel, you need to show that it is, um, um, so if it's parallel to A plus B, it needs to be a multiple of A plus B, so something times by A plus B. If a vector is parallel to something, it's a multiple of that, so it could be a half or two times or three times, or in this case, six fifths times. Okay, I should be a bit more careful looking at what that question is about. But yeah, so we got to this point, got this, um, therefore parallel, just to finish it off. Okay.